Welcome everyone, Adam. The Wu here, starting off the day in beautiful Moab, Utah. Crossing a bridge that has a very scenic view. Check this out. That wind blowing off the water is very powerful. But so are the feels. Soak it in. Join me. Shall you? First stop, Lynn Ottinger's rock shop. And it appears as if there's a gentleman taking a nap under the sign. Just making himself comfortable. Hanging around in a basket. He's in a basket. At the entrance to the shop, there is an arrow painted on the ground and says, look, tracks, dino tracks. Let's go inside. Let's check this out. Just remember, don't feed them or feed yourself. No food or drink allowed it. Ooh, there's an egg. Unidentified species found wandering the desert. Look at this thing. That's huge. Whatever that belonged to is massive. This fossil cave bear appears to have his eye. I don't think his eyeball is historically correct. And if you get too close, that's what's gonna happen to your hand. Look at that, it'll dismember, it'll dismember your hand. This was a giant fossil fish known as a Portheus mollusus. Look at that. There is so much, so much bizarre items in here. The magnetite is the only rock found in nature that's magnetic. Look at that, it almost looks like it has hair on it. I've never seen anything like that before. For $1,800, you could get the cast of an Allosaurus's left foot. That's not only his foot, that's his whole freaking leg. There's a photo of Lynn Ottinger and one of the original vehicles he used to take on the tours back from 1964. And here's another item that he ended up finding. In 1971, something called a Malachite Man? Is that, from a is that from a human? Very first raptor bone found in the state can be seen behind this little crystal ball. Don't try to touch it though, or King Kong will yell at you. Three different tracks here by the exit door, including one that belonged to a platosaur. Some fascinating stuff in there. I think we found something that might actually outlast dinosaur bones. Aluminum cans. Their mascots waving to all the passerby traffic. The theming out front's pretty cool too. They have all these old mine carts. That one tipped over. Heading southbound on US 191. This is the view out the right window. Not bad. Not bad at all. And there it is. The hole in the rock. Displayed very prominently the advertisement painted across the side of the ginormous boulder. Parked out front is this Jeep with a very interesting exterior. See, it's made completely out of license plates. The wheels and even the seats are made out of wrenches and metal. There's some, some tools in there, probably not very comfortable. You look hungry. Here, get a carrot. Take that carrot, here. Grab that, grab that carrot. Chow down on that thing. This pig has definitely got himself a little bit of an appetite. Please don't spit on me. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to feed you. Here, 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 here. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Don't spit, look. It says spitting zone, but please just let me slide. Please let me, if, if you don't spit on me, here, if you don't spit on me, I'll give you this, this treat. Take it, take it, take it. Okay, see you guys, see you guys later. Bye, bye, bye. See you, see you. See you. All right, all right, you're getting my attention. Here, here you go, here, drop it in there. Noticing in the feed bucket, there's also some cereal in there. You want some cereal? You want some cereal? Get you some cereal. Feel free to stop at any time. You're just gonna, you're just gonna keep going? 
Are you done? Okay. Gosh, I didn't think you were ever gonna stop. This tiki has a spring on his neck. I don't know if I've ever seen a tiki with a dislodged head and the neck of a spring before. That's that's different. Around the back looks to be like there's some old neon from some of the local motels, Silver Spur, and back there, the lodge. Old prospector trying to pull along his donkey, but he's being very stubborn. He doesn't doesn't really want to move. This whole property was once owned by a husband and wife who originally blasted holes in the side of the mountain and lived here, had a homestead. And when they passed away, they were laid to rest right up here in this cavern. The Christensen's, Albert died in 1957, but his wife kept the place running, opened a trading post, and she eventually passed away in 1974. According to this sign, Bigfoot is down here in the shrub. Oh, there he is, down in the shrubs. That's, oh, I get it. It's just a, it's just a Bigfoot. Don't quite understand this, however. U.S. Army property, no trespassing, but if I peek over the fence line, there's some sort of weird chair or something that you put on your head in this mechanism. What the heck is this? State's experimental hairdo machine. Oh, it's just for, it's for doing hair. You know, the more I stare at Mater, I think it's an imposter. Either that or he has not visited the dentist in a while. He's only got one enlarged tooth. I don't, I don't think this is Mater. There's a gentleman up there in a bucket being hoisted to the top of the mountain. He's a miner. Must have been tough being a miner. Whenever you use the facilities, you'd always have the mine boss above you also using the restroom. And you know what they say? Your dung goes downhill. Ew, gross. This place has a little bit of everything, including an outdoor jail, tiny concrete buffalo, and even a knight. See him over there? Hiding in the shadows? He's got a weapon. Just barely out of the open elements are these two vintage arcade games, Roundup and Miss Pac-Man. Sadly, neither one of them are working. Almost like a miniature Mount Rushmore. There's FDR carved in the side. Just staring out, staring out. You can see where they place the rooms inside where they blasted out the holes. I think you can go inside there. 5,000 square foot home. Yep, a 12 minute tour is available. However, this doesn't look good. Wamp, 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 wamp. Decided to go ahead and do the tour anyway after paying the admission price and entering into the former diner that is now a gift shop you see behind me. They took me into a big open area. That was the homestead. And inside that huge room, there are three rock pillars that act not only as structural support, but also for room dividers. When you first enter was the former seating area where the guests would eat their meals. You'd have to walk through there to get to the kitchen and then into all the rooms where the family resided. Where I'm now walking used to be a very large hole. All the rocks that were inside, they took out, placed here to elevate this, added pavement, and voila, you got a parking lot. Not really sure why they don't allow filming, but at least I can always say I've been inside the hole in the rock. Just down the ways a bit, is this archway, natural formation. Check that out. Wow. Zipping right along, we should be getting pretty close to one of my favorite places, Monument Valley. Right up there is one of the iconic pieces of this area's landscape, referred to and known as the Mexican Hat Rock. If all goes well, about two miles down this dirt road, should be a remnant of movie history from 1968. I'm really curious to see if it still exists out here in the desert. Holy crap, it's still here. The archway from Once Upon a Time in the Old West, starring Henry Fonda and Charles Bronson, or at least a portion of the archway. Look at that. Of course, in the film, it went all the way across, completing the arch. And this is where the famous scene with the harmonica and the hanging took place. There was a dolly shot that pulled back wide 
and went kind of high. From what I can tell, this is also sections of concrete they laid down to do that dolly shot on. Amazing. That's the screenshot. Monument Valley in the back and there's there's the arch. That image was also used in even one of the movie posters. Check that out. Pieces of wood there in the middle angled upward where it would have gone across. And you can see how they built it by looking down inside. It's pretty much hollow down in there. I wonder whatever happened to the rest of it. What happened to the top section? Pretty crazy to think that this is half a century old, 50 years old. These have just been out here braving the elements in the middle of the desert. I love stuff like this. This is good stuff. Heck yeah. More pieces of the wood here at the base. They built a frame completely out of lumber and then put the brick around it to complete the task. I'll put the link from the clip from the movie in the description box if you want to watch it and get a better perspective of what you're currently looking at. You can definitely see why they chose that spot way up on the hill looking down upon that view. For a western, does it get much better of a backdrop than that? That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you up to date on future endeavors that I will be going on and uploads that will happen on this channel. If you enjoyed today's content, consider giving this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you care. If you would like an Adam the Woo t-shirt shipped directly to your door, any size, any shape, any color, you can do so by checking the link in the description box. I will see you in the next video. The vlog is over.